Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Crusader Kings 2, Jade Dragon. And I'm going to get me here a kingdom. We're going to see if this works. I think it probably should. Um, let's see. Declare war. Claim Austrasia. We win the war. Um... He gains the Kingdom of Australia if holds a tire title and is of the same dynasty as your liege. Yeah, I mean, it's not... I mean, I am the de jure liege of you, but I won't technically be... I, I, think it, I think it'll still work. Let's get our retinue up here and ready to fight. And as soon as they get up there, we will make that happen. Now, there's still a big problem in that I discovered that while I was trying to marry my daughter off, and my daughter is still not married. Um, We got kings and stuff. Yeah, why don't you guys marry kings? I think you were probably wanting to marry him. And let's see, your sister needs married too. She wants to marry a ruler. Um, Here's a ruler. Why don't you marry him? All right, I mean, you're still probably in a pact against me, and it's got a lot of people in it, I'm not going to lie. Um, a lot of people. But uh, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure we can take you. Okay, Denmark is now Christian. Am I reading that right? Okay, and you are a Christian. I didn't want to see your family history, I just wanted to see your ruler. Um, oh, you are a duke, but you are a Christian. Okay, and Norway is still... Yeah, you're still pagan, and you are attacking the Christians, because that's what pagans do. They attack Christians. Okay, um, let's see. I'm hoping... I mean, the Byzantines aren't part of that, right? They're not technically Christian. Yeah, you've got your own packs against you. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we could probably win this pretty dang quick, so I think we're going to do it. Let's just do it. Um, let's just do it. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna attack, declare war, claim it for this guy, and, uh, we'll just see what happens. Okay, um, let's pull down the next level here. We can get... Get some troops from here. 3,000 troops. We get some troops from here. We get 900. Uh, we can get England's troops from here. Save us a little boat trip. Um, we've got you right here. And uh, Galatia's troops can be raised right here. Let's see, you can come on up here. You, do we want to attack them or go right for their capital? Let's go right for their capital. Try to catch them while we can. You guys move over. And um, let's see, this is all his land. So I think we still get more war score for that. So we will go ahead and move in there. You guys, um, you're going to have to make it through France. I think that'll be fine though. And uh, let's go ahead and raise up everybody else now. And we'll see what that looks like. Do we have any other, like, weird troops in any weird locations? No, they're all pretty in standard locations. You gonna walk through anything dumb? No, you all look good. Alright, let's uh, fight this war. Let's take it down to about a speed three. I've been excommunicated. Um, that's probably not the worst thing that's going to happen to me today. Peasants are attacking me. Again, probably not the worst thing that's going to happen to me today. You guys go ahead and get on this side of the river. Paris is falling to a peasant revolt right now, so they've got some problems they need to deal with. Um, we got 6,000 troops that are winning a battle there. I think I want you guys to come up. 
You guys can come on over. And let's see, you guys should all be rallying. And you guys are going across France. Okay, you guys are together. Why don't you all come down here? Okay, they're going to make a big battle of it, and I am going to come in and make a big battle of it as well. Um, let's take our retinue over here, just because. Uh, fine. We're going to make it. Okay, we definitely want a decisive victory here, so that was worth it. Um, you guys can come ahead and come down to the capital. We got this guy with a green hat. Let's ransom him. And um, we'll go ahead and uh, take these guys down here. We're going to get a little bit of attrition because we got so many dang troops up here. That is fine. Let's see, why don't you guys come up here and join up with them? And we've got these silly little rebels over here. All right. Um, we need some ships. We don't need a lot of ships, but we need some ships. Let's raise vassals. Get all you guys over here. I don't think we're going to need you. And I don't think we're going to need you. And I don't know if there's any other random ships laying around the map from people that we have. Yeah, like you. We don't need you. All right, and this is probably going to be more than enough. Let's see, are you just you're just a peasant revolt? Okay, that is going to be enough. I have no idea why the amount of troops there just dropped. They just magically did. But we can deal with that. Grab these 8,000. I don't see them doing that thing where they come and try to... I mean, there's some Frisian troops up there. It looks like they're all kind of staying pretty local. Let's uh, go ahead and land them here. You guys can all go away. I mean, they are trying to land troops, but it's like such a minor amount. Nope, they're not. Okay, here comes the French army, finally. A little too little too late. All right, we can drop them. Let's see, let's go ahead and bring you guys in. And let's see, you are probably fighting against me, so we can just go ahead and take you down. You don't have any leaders. Let's get you some leaders. Can't believe he excommunicated me. Again, been excommunicated twice. It was my vassal that took away your land. It wasn't me, just so you know. Um, 20 piety, chance of learning, we'll take it. it. Says I have gout. I wouldn't worry, but in this game, gout is a deadly disease. Um, let's see, I don't even know. I've got the French army over there. I think I'd rather just siege down his land. We have another son? Or just a son? Oh, it's my grandson. Okay. Got a malaise? I have the flu. That's that's a lot like gout. I'll give him credit. <laughs> I 
<laughs> um. <laughs> this guy. This guy right here. Um. This guy. This guy right here. He thought I had gout. I mean, he's a genius adventurer, celibate. He's a genius. He thought I had gout, turned out to be the flu, and now I'm a eunuch. I will make let you make your own story for that. I will let you make your own story for that. This game. This game. Right? I guess I'm just going to siege his provinces down. I think I want to continue doing that. <clears throat> I think I'll hang out here. I think this one right here is going to be a target for him. I would guess that that's who this guy is going for. My dog still loves people. Yeah, he's going to go for that. And then I can go for him, and that'll be another big, giant chunk of war score. Oh, he's going to uh, assault that down. I'm just going to let him do it. That'll let him lose some troops. And maybe we can catch him. No, 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 I accidentally clicked the retreat button. Oh, that was terrible. Let's go. Can we... Can you guys go over there? You've got everything sieged down. Oh, that makes me upset. Somebody won my peasant... Um, let's see. Everyone knows I spent the years directing and work on a book. Okay. Finish my book while we're having a battle here. That's okay. Um, I was expecting, but honest recipes is certainly something. Okay, it's just, uh, it's not a very good book. Um, honest recipes. Quality two, national tax modifier. Hmm, okay. All right, and you want to marry somebody, just a random courtier? Okay. All right, that is that. Uh, lose 200 gold to keep the trader out running. I think we want to do that. Okay, hopefully he'll get his troops all nice and... Ah! Oh boy, I don't want you to treat my symptoms again. Who knows what's going to happen this time. Okay, let's see. Do we want to... Do we want to attack him? I think we probably do. Probably wait till one of these... He just pops, and uh, then it looks like he's going to go bring his troops around. And when they do, we'll attack him. I don't know where all these defeats are coming from. Yeah, this guy moved to my capital, because of course he did. They may just be sieging random spots. That guy up there is sieging random spots. I have the flu again. <laughs> well, we know how to cure that. Unfortunately, we can't cure it again. Um, yeah, I'm going to be a little bit apprehensive, I believe. Let's go ahead and bring these guys over. They are going to run away, which is very wise. But we're going to catch some of them. Gives us a bit of war score, and we've got all this area nice and sieged now. Um, hmm. I guess we can go for his troops here. None of my business. Mm, 
And I'm wondering if I can attract his armies around here. There's some free money. We'll ransom you. Just attack these little armies here and there. They're going to be attracted to these siege provinces that don't have a lot of folks in them. We are at 73% war score. Okay, we caught some guy. We can ransom him, maybe? Nope, not interested. Fine, what are you, like, uh, some kind of commander? Okay, we can go ahead and take these guys and take on the French. Take these guys and take on the French. Okay, we got that siege down. We can move these guys on over and maybe move you guys over here. It might be something I look into, just what is up with all of these merchant bands. I mean, I, I don't want to do it. And, and the reason why is if we look at the levy reinforcement here, it's down 2.5%. And that appears to be permanent. It seems like I made that mistake a million years ago, and it is still just there. So, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I want it to go away. like I haven't used mercenaries in a million years. I don't know why I'm reinforcing their bands. Victory there. We are at 99%, and I can't imagine that being 99% because we haven't won a major battle. So it must have just fallen right on the line. So maybe one one more battle here, and that will take care of it. Nope, that's going to take it down. There we go, 100%. So let's offer peace and force demands. And uh, welcome, Alba. We got a nice big chunk there. I like that. I approve. Put our threat up back up to 67%, but it was so worth it. So worth it. All right, let's go ahead and lower our troops. We can't because of things. Maybe that guy. I don't know. Why can't we lower our troops? We lower our troops here. That is a retinue. We lower you guys. You can lower you. 5,000 will return. Due to not being in friendly territory. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, now can we take you down? Yes. All right. All right, we should have a new vassal now. We need a marshal. You are the king of Italy now? What happened there? Oh, your dad died. Well, good. He didn't like me very much. Um, uh, We will give you the marshal position, though, because you're absolutely incredible at it. And uh, let's see, we've got another king that probably this guy... He's possessed, but he is the king. Um, let's see. You would actually make a better steward. How would you be as a chancellor? You would be a terrible chancellor. So I guess we'll go ahead and make you... Oh. Well, you know, 
he wasn't doing much anyway. All right, yeah, you should absolutely love me, and you do. And that should probably make you a loyalist on the council as well. But it does not. It should, but it doesn't. All right, well, that was a very nice pickup of land there. That um, kind of makes Europe look a little nicer. Looks nicer indeed. You are being sieged down. I hope you are losing a war. Yes, that is Galicia. What are you going for? Toledo still. Which one's Toledo? Just that one province? You think too small, man. You think too small. Well, hopefully that will become part of you here soon. Um, you are going for Valencia. See, now that's that's forward thinking right there. That that works right there. That's three provinces. That's the way you should be doing it. Um, you are hostile. You're doing anything? You're in a... Oh, that's Frisia. Okay, you're trying to get your council power increased. Okay, somebody's attacking you. That's fine. How are you doing, Mr. King guy? You are going for Holstein. That is that is fine. All right, I'm probably still excommunicated. I am. I'm still a eunuch. Unfortunate. But I do have an heir in place, and he has a grandson, so I'm not... I mean, I'm concerned about it, but not too much. Can you lift my excommunication? That would be nice. And he will let me back into the church now. Okay, so I think it's the second time this guy's been excommunicated. And he has been let back into the church both times. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Got a nice little chunk of land there. And uh, now we go and wait for a threat to die down. Thank you for watching. See you next time.